One of the fun aspects of the Marvel's Spider-Man series has been the inclusion of variant suits that you can unlock over the course of the game. Unlike previous games in the series, the suits in Spider-Man 2 are only cosmetic and do not have powers or suit mods associated with them. This may cause some people to not invest their resources into them as much, but I still really enjoyed unlocking new suits, even if they didn't do anything more than that. One new feature is that some suits now come with variant colors, and this can be a fun way to customize your Spider-Man even more. With there being two different Spider-Men in Spider-Man 2, I'll be creating a separate list for each Spider-Man. This list is focusing on the OG Spider-Man, Peter Parker. Looking at my list for the suits that were in the first game, there are many suits that weren't in this game. So it'll be interesting to see what mix of old and new suits make it onto this top 10. As always, this list is just my opinion. Feel free to let me know what your favorite suits are in the comments. It is always interesting interesting to discuss what people enjoy and see how different our preferences are. With that said, let's get to my top 10 suits for Peter in Spider-Man 2. At number 10, I have the Last Hunt suit. While I do enjoy Spider-Man's classic look, I also enjoy when a style does something a little different. With the Last Hunt suit, Peter dons a Kraven-esque suit with muted tones and Kraven's iconic fur lining. You get this suit by defeating all of the Hunter bases in the game. Like the negative suit of the first game, it's a fun way to style Spider-Man with a nod to one of the villains you're facing in the story. At number 9, I have the new red and blue suit. This suit is a movie-themed suit, and none of those get variants, but I did really like the classic look of this suit. I like the shininess of the blue that really made this suit just kind of stand out. That blue just popped a little bit for me. You were able to unlock this suit when you hit level 58, which makes it a suit you won't get until you make a good amount of progress in the game. But I still did really like how it looked, even if you won't be able to access it until you're fairly progressed in the game. Number eight, I have the Iron Spider suit. This is another movie inspired suit and the last one of these for my list. I like the armored look of this suit and how it keeps some classic elements of Spider-Man's suit as well. I do kind of wish this suit would have had some variants, but apparently they couldn't do that with movie suits for some reason. You also don't get this suit until you hit level 54, so it's another suit that you don't get until you've earned a number of levels and made your way through the game, probably a decent amount. At number seven, I have the Arachnite suit. The Arachnite suit was a super interesting suit. It's based off of a comic book suit that merged Spider-Man with Moon Knight. And it's a very different look for Spider-Man in a number of ways, but I did like the look overall. While the cape is somewhat buggy in game at times, as capes are wont to be in games like this, it's a fun look for Spider-Man. It definitely gave me a little bit of a Batman vibe to my Spider-Man, which I kind of like. You unlock this suit at level 20, but it was unlocked at the start of the game if you pre-ordered, which was what I had done. So I did get this fairly early on, which was kind of a nice fun suit to have early game. At number six, I have the classic black suit. So I'm kind of cheating with this one. Really, I would say that you could input any of the symbiote suits here. I'm placing the classic black suit here because it has variants that allow you to pick either the Venom or anti-Venom variants and even some kind of slight alterations of color for the Venom. And overall, I just didn't want to take out too many slots of my top 10 with symbiote suits, especially since there isn't a lot of difference between them. So this was my solution. You can unlock this suit once you reach level 50, or the various story symbiote suits as you progress through the story. At number five, I have the Advanced Suit 2.0. I was a big fan of the Advanced Suit in the first game, and the Advanced Suit 2.0 is even better in my opinion. It keeps that white contrast in the suit, but is a bit of a brighter and more vibrant suit as well, which I really enjoyed. It maybe doesn't have the strong story connection that the suit did in the first game, but it's still a very solid suit and the official starting suit of Peter in the game. And number four, I have the Superior Suit. Want a bit of a darker twist to the classic Spider-Man suit? That's what the Superior Suit offers. Taken from the Superior Spider-Man comics when Dr. Octopus takes over Peter's body, this suit reflects the darker path that Otto Spider-Man goes down and is just a pretty cool looking suit. You can unlock this at level 15, so it's also a pretty easy suit to unlock fairly early in the game, and so it makes it a fun early option. At number three, I have the anti-ox suit. Now here's a suit I wish I could have rated a bit higher because I felt like it had a lot more potential than what it did in game. And that's mainly because a couple of the variants were not great. The monochromatic looks of the white suit and the green suit versions here 
were just ones I did not like quite as much. The white in particular is just really bright and hard to look at. Otherwise, the armored look of the suit and the glow of the spider symbol are things I really like about this suit. This is another suit that you can get fairly early on as you unlock it at level 17, which is pretty cool since this was a suit that you couldn't unlock in the first game until the very end of the story. And number two, I've got the Scarlet 3 suit. Now this one's a little bit of a surprise for me because I'm not normally a huge fan of the hooded styles. They're typically okay in my book, but there's something about the Scarlet 3 suit that I just really enjoyed. I think it's just that it felt like it had a really clean look. The spider symbol also is pretty cool and has a nice like metallic look to it, both on front and back. And the variants are also really good. It's also an early unlock as you're able to purchase it when you unlock the suit system. So it's a fun early one. It's also just a little bit different, but has some fun aspects to it that I really liked. And at number one, I have the Iron Spider armor. This suit was pretty much the one I used once I unlocked it, except for the symbiote suits to kind of fit the story, because I liked to do that. I really enjoyed this suit in the first game, but it was DLC, which meant you didn't get it until like very late in your experience with the game, which was kind of a bummer. Here though, you can unlock it at level 29, which gives you a lot of time to use the suit. I loved the armored look of this suit, and even better is that all the variants are amazing on this suit suit. It is by far my favorite suit in the game and also pairs great with the addition of the iron spider arms that Peter has added to his arsenal in this game. So that's my top 10 Spider-Man 2 suits for Peter. It's interesting to see that there are only three suits that were on both of my lists for the first Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2. I think a large part of this was because Spider-Man 2 didn't have a lot of the armored styles that I had on my list in the first game. It'll be interesting to see if we get any new styles in updates or DLCs. If we do and I wind up changing my rankings here, I'll put it on an updated video. If I don't really like any of the new ones that get added or if there aren't any ones that get added, this will be the only one I put out. But until then, this is my list. I hope you enjoyed the list. And again, I'd love to hear your own favorite suits for Peter from Spider-Man 2 in the comments. But that's all for this list, so we'll see you in the next video.